Hi, welcome back to the Cleve Museum of Natural History. I'm Dr. Michael Ryan. I'm head of vertebrate paleontology here at the museum, and I've just come back out of the field to tell you about our brand new dinosaur, Mercuriceratops gemini. Mercuriceratops is a large horned dinosaur that was found both in Montana and Alberta. It's about the size of an average centrosaurus or stracosaurus, would have weighed about two tons, and would have been anywhere from about four to eight meters, depending on how much of the tail you want to include in those. We've called it Mercury Ceratops because it has a very unique shield off the back of its skull. All horned dinosaurs are known for those large head shields, which are formed of the parietal and squamosal bones. What we found in Montana and Alberta were squamosals from the side of the frill that had these little wing-like shapes off the side of it. So just like the Greek god Mercury, who has a winged helmet, our horned dinosaur has a winged shield off the back of its skull. In classical literature, Gemini refers to twins. And for Mercury Ceratops Gemini, we're referring to the twin specimens that the dinosaur was named after. There were two squamosals, parts of the side of the frill that were found, one in Dinosaur Provincial Park in Alberta and one in the Judith River Formation of Montana. These specimens were almost identical. They were from the same side of the body, looked very similar. And when I saw the one in Alberta that had been collected by Susan Keegan, I recognized it as being almost identical to the one that had been found in Montana by private individuals. That one had been acquired by the Royal Ontario Museum by my good colleague David Evans. And when we put the two of them side by side, we knew we had probably the same type of dinosaur from two different formations in two different countries. So if you're a horned dinosaur like Mercury Ceratops during the late Cretaceous of Montana or Alberta, the one thing you want to do as you become a teenager is be able to attract a mate. And if you were a human teenager during the 1950s, you would have got a very large car with these big fins off the back of it. If you're a horned dinosaur during the Cretaceous, your only option is to actually modify that large frill on the back of your skull. So if you can add an extra wing or an extra frill on the side of that, make yourself even more elaborate and ornate than your buddies are, chances are you're going to have the best uh, pick of the herd. So these wing-like structures coming off the squamosal bone of the skull of Mercury Ceratops suggest to the co-authors, Dr. Philip Curry, Dr. Mark Lowen, and David Evans and myself, that the variation within the skulls, within that armature and ornamentation is probably much greater than we ever anticipated. We've known for a number of years now sort of the variation that's present within centrosaurs. We know the variation that's present within chasmosaurs. But Mercury Ceratops is a brand new chasmosaur suggests that we're just beginning to scratch the surface of what we actually understand about how these things ornamented their skulls.